we are back for a new simple electrostatic experiment. This video highlights the simplest electrostatic motor ever built, the electrostatic pinwheel. We will not only explain how it works, but we will show how its speed might be considerably increased. We will end by some efficiency considerations and will propose a challenge to improve furthermore its performances. As in previous electrostatic experiment, we will use a power supply that can be replaced by a standard 9 volt battery, a high voltage AC generator, a voltage multiplier directly connected to a vertical sharp pin. The mobile pinwheel part was handmade. We have used a brass rod, machined two sharp tips at every end, bent the tips in opposite directions, and bent a little the rod in the vertical direction to ensure static stability. I set the power on, pinwheel start to rotate progressively. We can estimate with bare eyes the rotation speed to be about a few turns every second. But how oh, is it working? In this original design, charge have a tendency to accumulate everywhere around and cannot go back to ground easily. To improve this, I will use a metal plate connected directly to the ground. In this new setup, the electric plate is placed below the pinwheel and is connected to the ground. Charges will be collected and will come back to ground. Let's now see the difference. First, I give a little push to the assembly to avoid instability. You see that the speed is increased a lot. Let's see now how we can measure quite simply the rotation speed. The trick is to use a scope and to place the probe close to the pinwheel, but at a safe distance. Every time a tip will go close to the tip, to the probe, we will see a pulse on the screen. So let's try this new configuration. A little push to avoid instability. Power on. And you already see the pulses. They are negative because the pinwheel polarity is negative. They get closer and closer as the speed increases. The distance between two pulses is now about 20 milliseconds and they are getting closer and closer. An estimation of the rotation speed is about now 30 turns per second. As the pinwheel size is 7 cm, the tip's linear speed is about 6 to 7 meters per second. But what about efficiency?
in order to get higher speeds, your pinwheel must be very well mechanically balanced. Beside, your profile must be aerodynamic. The best speed ever reached was about 20 meters per second. This could be a real challenge for students and researchers. A little push to avoid instability. Not a good try. Power is on. Oops. The tip. Linear velocity is too high.